It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia has been one of my favorite shows ever since it aired, and I wanted to pay homage to that show, in particular, Charlie, my favorite character. I've even bought his shirt, as you can tell, and make his favorite meal, the milk steak, with a side order of jelly beans, of course. During its time on air, it's had a lot of bizarre foods that it's mentioned in the show, including the rum ham, the grilled Charlie, and of course, fight milk. But none of these foods have really left the same impact in my mind as Charlie's favorite meal, the milk steak. How about your favorite food? What would that be? Oh, milk steak. Mm hmm. What? Now, I'm going to want the milk steak boiled over hard ah! and a side of your finest jelly beans raw. <laughs> We're going to need our steak, jelly beans, a pot, and of course milk. I'm gonna pour some milk in a pot. Charlie says he likes his steak boiled over hard. Boiled over hard? So I'm gonna boil it with its milk. And let this marinate in this milk for a bit. Once the milk is boiling, I'm gonna turn down the heat, flip the side over, and repeat this process. So, ooh, yeah, it's gotten a little brown there. It's, it's browning out right now. Once the steak is done boiling and it's milk. I'm gonna fry the outside to make sure it's boiled over hard so it has that crispy exterior. I'm gonna turn it off and then we are going to sear it on both sides. It looks so disgusting. Oh my god. Oh, well, here we go. We gotta sear both sides. Maybe this will help it out a bit. It looks more like a pork chop than anything else right now because the color has changed so much. I'm gonna use a torch to make sure the outside is a bit crusty and hard. I'm gonna torch the outside of this first. Then I'm gonna plate it with its jelly beans. And we're ready to eat. All right, well, here it is. Uh, Charlie's favorite meal, the milk steak. Okay, looks uh, and smells odd. Uh, the flies seem to be attracted to it. I've noticed that when I've been sitting out here. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, it looks like a normal steak. It's, we would barely even notice that this is boiled in milk. Except for the flies, they did notice. And they enjoyed that. All right. Huh. Kind of tangy. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like the milk extracted all the flavor out of the steak. So I imagine that the milk sauce that I boiled it in, wow. I imagine that the milk sauce I boiled it in has all the flavor, but uh, I mean, it still tastes like a steak, not a very good one, but it does still taste like a steak. Yeah. I mean, the best I can say about it is that it's barely edible. Barely edible. I'm gonna wash that steak down with the nice jelly bean and a bit of water. Ah, uh, God damn it, Charlie. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see me make any more meals from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, maybe their energy bars, uh, the peanut butter Charlie, rum ham maybe, let me know in the comments and I will try my best and recreate it for you. I'll see you next Sunday. So would I recommend making a milk steak at home? Not particularly, but it was fun to try out nonetheless. Would you like to see me make fight milk perhaps? Fight milk! The first alcoholic dairy-based protein drink for bodyguards! Bye bodyguards! Or the grilled Charlie? With no, do not put peanut butter on that! What? A grilled Charlie is peanut butter last. Okay, either inside or peanut outside. Peanut butter outside! Chocolate inside, butter inside, cheese outside. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next Sunday.